population that's why you have those extras. Yes, ma'am. You know, you will have inmates who are on, on the verge of being transferred out sure. for, for court reasons or medical lay-in. Um, they have a family crisis. So, and of course, a fair percentage of our inmate population work on the inside, in the laundry, uh, the kitchen, cleaning of the facility, groundskeeping for the actual institution itself. Kind of way, kind of way. My understanding of it was presented to me is you'd have at least, at the very least, two crews on a route, kind of like a U.S. Postal Service cutting throughout the county. And then if you have an issue, like a school bus driver contacts us and says, hey, I'm, I'm not able to see here effectively, you wouldn't necessarily pull that crew off of their route. So they could basically, ideal, in an ideal world, follow behind the, the bush hall crews, but simultaneously they would be able to send a crew out to address that issue. There's always going to be another issue to address, be it privet hedges or a tree that's fallen on the road uh, while the buses are coming out or somebody's dumped out a bunch of trash that we made it to go pick up or a couch that's right here on 116 laying in the street. So if, if we're able to do that all simultaneously, I, I think, I don't think I know that that's, that's the formula for making the county look pretty like it's supposed to. But I do know, discussed earlier, might have been around budget time, but the request wasn't made. There is a safety factor in there. With Absolutely. The, on the inside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. you know, no question. With about. the larger prison population, it's, uh, there's a lot of a lot of inmates for one officer and two. I'm, I'm used to the Muscogee County Jail, and sometimes we would have three officers and 400 inmates, but the, the, the huge distinction there is we're operating a county work camp, and so we are having inmates that are going in, and, and absolutely I agree with you. So the complexity of it is, is much more than if you had a stationary location. We send people out over the county to provide services for the taxpayer. Sign up for the required class that we have to do in order to actually 
accept the, the check, for lack of a better word. And I have one more thing that it was not on the agenda, but um, I was uh, born the fire um, fireman with who's in charge of the training, Matt Martin. Um, he um, asked me about a donation, the county accepting a donation from Georgia Pacific in the amount of $2,500 to go toward, specifically toward the training and or equipment at the training center. Um, and he wanted me to give him a document last week verifying we would take it and what we would do with the funds and I told him I couldn't do that without Charles. okay. Um, so I got the information finally this morning, Jack McClung sent it to me, uh, making the official request from the Council of Fire Chiefs that the county accept the $2,500 donation from Georgia Pacific, specifically for the funds to be used at the training center or for equipment at the training center. Excuse me, for training and equipment at the training center. <laughs> All right. have a motion? Motion to accept. Motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Again? Motion carried. A uh, couple things on the project. Uh, yes. the, the old courtroom, is it, is it back in use yet? I think it's open with the exception of not having attic fans in there. <clears throat> I, I will find out for certain tomorrow and I'll let you know. Okay. Um, uh, Ellison Park. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have the engineering for the road yet? I haven't seen it. But that was, uh, that's, that's the hang up to get the road done, which is uh, key to moving on the project. Who was supposed to get that done? It's, uh, David Adams, I believe. Okay. All right. I will double check with David tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, next month will be three years since we bought the project. Yes. And we still don't have that park open. And I don't see how we were close to having it. It's something very frustrating. Um, kind of like washing the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I get you guys to stop at washing the road? As far as any. Hey, Kathy, be a consultant. <laughs> <laughs> As far as his bigger projects, that's uh, the Mr. Brown is ready. Uh, you know, when we need to, uh, his crews are just about to finish in uh, the CDBG and Kings Gap, so we've got a little clearing to do in the uh, Capital Business Park, but uh, most of that is already done. So, yeah, those are the next ones. Those are the parts on the list. For as far as the it's, on the it's the next one. It's the next one, I'm sorry. Next one. It's the next one. <coughs> okay. And, Thank you. And speaking of Ellison <coughs> Park, um, you all received a letter today. It's in your mailboxes over there from a citizen who sends us memos in Free Park uh, requesting that we get a move on, on the basically on the substation over there. Subject to the precinct? Precinct. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's a good move on the precinct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <coughs> the property's clear. Uh, I, I don't know where Greg left off. The proposal was basically stop, for lack of a better word. Um, I have it ready to go back out. I can certainly send it back out if y'all need me to go ahead and do it. Why not? I don't see why not. Okay. And also in Ellsley Park, um, uh, there's a, a couple at, at our church that wants to give money to the place. Okay. Um, so, um, he's going to get it done.
Is that one. is that the one? We got to do one one lot. One okay. Yeah, it's been going to happen for several months, and uh, as soon as I can get Jeff Todd, my law partner, moving on the condemnation, we will get it going. I've been talking to him about it, and he's aware of it. So. Task order number three for spill prevention control at the airport. Uh, the, uh, what this is is that uh, Pond, uh, who is our, our consultant, uh, has asked that uh, or asked that uh, they be authorized to prepare a um, spill prevention uh, control and countermeasure plan that is required by the EPD. Uh, FAA. EPA, excuse me, um, which is basically the same, same type of operation. Uh, and in uh, uh, for, uh, and that's for any sort of storage tanks that exceeds 60, 660 gallons or, uh, and has two uh, 12,000 gallon fuel truck, uh, trucks, one uh, or one six and one 6,000. I think we've, we've fallen into that category. Uh, it cost $4,500 and it was, uh, there was some degree of urgency that it would be, be accomplished. Uh, Harry signed the, uh, um, the agreement uh, and uh, what you need to do is uh, ratify the, uh, the, the agreement tonight and uh, make that recommendation to you. entertain a motion? So moved. Second. I have a question. Um, on task order form, it says every attempt to be made to the plan by 25 August of 2016. Did that happen? No, because it didn't, it didn't come out of the until August uh, 16th. <laughs> so, but I, I, th I think they've got a draft. Yeah. I know the uh, engineer has made the site. document for the, uh, the water treatment plant uh, basin loan uh, it, uh, going back to June of 2014. The GFA note was in about $2 million uh, back on May the, uh, June the 7th. You extended the, uh, the time uh, 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 commencement date uh, and that was entered into a modification uh, agreement now. Uh, there is having to be, uh, and, and I think at that time we discussed, or you discussed the possibility that the uh, would be a, uh, an increase in the value of in the amount of the uh, the chief alone, uh, and that is uh, in fact what this document is uh, for you to approve is a second second modification of the promissory note and loan agreement and. Uh, this increase the, will increase the loan uh, GFA note from two million dollars to two million seven hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. There was a, an error that uh, uh, typo on the uh, on your uh, cover sheet that said it would increase it by two hundred fifty thousand. Should be seven hundred fifty thousand. I recommend that to you. Uh, I've already given Nancy my, uh, my uh, opinion letter. Uh, and she will, uh, you know, will be signed and then get off and then we swear up to you. All right, do you have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? 
Yeah, this is a, for the water treatment plant, the flocculation and sedimentation basis. Mm -hmm. And um, does anybody here know what flocculation means? Uh, it, it almost sounded pornographic. <laughs> so, I have looked this up. Flocculation is causing to aggregate into a flocculent mass. <laughs> Okay. okay. Flocculent means containing, consisting of, or occurring in the form of loosely aggregated particles or soft flakes. In other Thank words, you. in other words, you build a drain, uh, I mean, uh, a sediment pond. There you go. Right. Yeah. You make a big pile of junk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, well, we are now educated. <laughs> I just wonder what I was voting on. <laughs> now you know what flocculation yeah. is. And this does come out of Jeff's story that yes. it's in the water in, in there. Yes. There's nothing pornographic about flocculation. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, so we have a motion. Second. 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 Do we have any other discussion or questions? All in favor, please signify raise your hand. Motion carries. <laughs> Next one, DOT agreement. Uh, yes, sir. Item 17. This is the bridge on Fortson Road and Standing Boy Creek. Uh, attached to, uh, to that uh, it was a is an agreement uh, with or a contract with between uh, Harris County and the uh, Georgia Department of Transportation for uh, the uh, acquisition acquisition of the uh, right of way for. Improvements uh, at the, uh, the bridge at um, uh, on Forkson Road and Stanford Creek. The uh, DOT will provide uh, uh, the legal descriptions and the plats necessary for acquiring the right of way, uh, and then the, the county uh, will uh, provide uh, uh, the um, the uh, kind of the, the uh, necessary uh, legal services. And to acquire the right of, right of way, being even if it took, takes uh, filing condemnation uh, petitions uh, to do so, uh, and the uh, it's expected that it would not uh, amount that the DOT is allocating is fifty-three thousand dollars to acquire the right of way for this uh, this bridge. I don't know how, how big the bridge is or how long it is, but uh, it's pretty significant. One question I had. Is that, uh, and I don't know why, but uh, as item six, or excuse me, item four, that uh, during the life of this contract to acquire it, that do we you agree not to use any convict labor in any way in connection with the project? Uh, yeah. I don't know why they, they unless it's some, some of the federal money that comes in, but, but this is uh, that you'll provide uh, the cost and then do all the demolition and clearing of the project. Uh, and I recommend that to you. So that bridge, the current bridge, is having to be completely torn down? Have been. Why? Oh, okay. Yeah. I can hit on what I'm saying. Okay. But only the parts that are in the right of way, we don't have to just... No, don't you don't do the bridge. bridge. You just, you know, it's the right of way. Okay. Yeah. I'll entertain a motion. Since the west portion of that bridge is in my district, I'm going to make the motion to approve. Well, the east part is in mine, so we'll cover that. I'll second it. On discussion, uh, John, you say you're taking it out in the form? No, well, I just say it's in there. I just call that to your attention uh, that uh, that's the DOT in there. And is that standard for DOT? I never had seen it before, but it has something to do with with, uh, with the... With it's the, been a while since we got a right of way acquisition agreement. Uh, it was probably in there. I'm thinking it has something to do with, with the, uh, the federal... We approve these four new positions. Uh, yeah, well, nothing will have anything to do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that it has, has something to do with comply with the Uniform Relocation Assistance Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970, which is 
uh, a federal statute uh, and uh, as amended by the, uh, it is in section uh, 3881 of the Georgia Code. And I say you probably don't. I'll take your word for it. I didn't figure I'd, you know, would go to the extent of trying to dig through that and see what that was all about. All we know is we need a wider bridge. <laughs> If you want the bridge, you got to you got to bridge this. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? All in favor, say fire raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Trailer business, sir. Uh, yes, sir. The, the last item is uh, deals with, uh, with with trailer business services. Uh, this is an, uh, an annual um, matter that you approve. Uh, Trailer Business Services provides, uh, through this agreement, uh, a uh, auditing of uh, various um, uh, property accounts through the, for the tax assessor. Uh, and this contract runs, uh, you know, annually for for, for 12 months. Uh, they've been doing it for a number of years, and for every review that they, they do, it depends on the value of the, uh, of the property or it is. Uh, Excuse me. They're reviewing, um, and it's something that uh, that Wayne uh, has been here in the past years is, is, uh, uses uh, values very much because otherwise, if we didn't have this, send your send your your estimate of your your of, uh, value of your property in. You don't uh, occasionally go out and, and audit it. Uh, you, know, you, you can lose a whole lot of money. So. I, I think they do a good job, and uh, Wayne uh, is very pleased with uh, with what he enjoys working with. So I recommend uh, two figures. Are the figures uh, the cost for about the same as last year? I think they are. Okay. All right. I'll entertain a motion.